Okay, today I am building a newsletter mock-up. I've already created a new document for myself. It's 800 pixels wide by 2,000 pixels high. 2,000 may be a little bit um, long, but I can always use a crop tool or change the dimensions of this thing later. I mean, I'll keep the width at 800, but I can always change the height later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to map out areas of this based on a wireframe that I made that looks very similar. Uh, I'm going to map out areas based on my wireframe using the rectangle shape tool uh, to see what I'm doing ahead of time. I'm going to get myself out of path and go to shape. And shape will change my application bar up here. Application bar? Path bar? Uh, it's one of those. Um, I can set the fill color. I usually, if I'm drawing out different areas of a mock-up, I will usually make them different colors just to make it easier to see them. Also, um, marvelous tool in here. If I have selected the shape tool, the rectangle shape in this case, and I just click, it will ask me what I want to make the dimensions. So I know it's going to be 800, and I know the height of it is going to be 200. So I will set that and click OK, and it should make me a gray shape. If it's landed in the wrong place, I can always just kind of move it over here, because I know I chose center and it stuck it in a really weird place. Okay, so header is in there. If for some reason I want to change the color of it, I should be able to do that from here. Yeah, okay, so it, you know if I don't like the color, well hey, there it is. Um, next, I can use the same shape because, you know, why reinvent the wheel? Um, if I use my move tool, and I hold down Option key, I can make a duplicate of the shape I've just made. If I don't want it to be gray, and you'll notice, hey, put it on a new layer over there. We'll deal with that in a second. Um, so this one, I know I'm going to put an uh, image on there and some text. So I'm going to set the background of that to white. Uh, I'm also going to change the size of it by going to, I can hit Control or Command T on my keyboard, or I can go to Edit Menu and choose Free Transform. If for some reason, let me deselect, come on. If for some reason it's not letting me choose Free Transform, I'm going to Command T full into my keyboard anyhow. Um, or double click in here. Okay. So um, if I get Command T to change something, I will change stuff in here. So I know the height of it, it the width of it is 800, the height of it is 200. If I decide um, 500 would be a better height, that's too many zeros, I can just hit return in there. Um, also, layers panel, rectangle one, not very descriptive. That's my header. Um, rectangle copy, I'm going to call it feature one because that's my first feature area. I can keep building things that way. Um, for feature area, like I know I'm going to have a second feature area down here with two images side by side and two columns of text. Um, if I want to, I can do that the same way that I did um, this, if I think it's going to be a problem for the developer so that I'm, I'm going to have to slice stuff up, what I'm going to do is, well, same thing I did before, option, click and drag. 500 might be a good height. I'm not sure what I'm putting in there yet, so it kind of doesn't matter. So I have that in there. I'm going to call it feature two. And going into my properties panel, I'm going to just change, the height is fine, but width, I want to make it half of the width, so it looks like I have two columns. Uh, I'm also going to set the color to something very light, but not white. Now I'm going to do the same thing with option, click, and drag, so that I have a copy of it over on the right-hand side. I'm using smart guides to help me line stuff up, because they're there. Okay. So instead of calling that feature two copy, I'm going to call it feature three. Okay, and this is where I say, okay, well, I'm going to have to, I don't, I have my header area, my feature area, 
uh, my two um, other feature areas and I'm going to have a footer down at the bottom. In the same way that I made the header, I can also make a footer. Option click and drag, drag that down. Even if I leave it the same color, that's fine. Looking at the feature areas above this, Ah, they don't look particularly aligned. I'll go in and straighten that out later. Okay, so footer area. So I had said, oh, wow, you know, maybe this is like too high. Uh, if for some reason it's too high, I can always use the crop tool. Head it copy. Let's change that to footer while we're at it. Okay, entire document. I'm going to shift select and see if the crop tool will let me select the whole thing. Hey, it's like totally moved my Y. Okay. Wow, for whatever reason, my marquee is down here, way off of my artboard. Let's see if we can get that moved or deselected. Hey, deselect. Okay, so crop. There we go. Um, if all else fails, fight with it until it does what you want it to do. So if I'm using the same, I always try to have it be some even number or whatever I'm told. So let's set this at 1300 pixels. Or whatever looks good. Okay, and if I'm happy with that crop, I will choose crop by hitting the check mark. And there we go. Basically, like I said, there's things in here that I'm going to have to straighten out. Feature area one. Feature area two, area two. Use my arrow keys to like move things up and move things over if it looks like stuff is out of alignment. I can also um, command T and check the coordinates of things up here. Um, which will tell me X and Y coordinates and usually size too. If it's not on the little path bar up here, it's prob probably in the properties panel. And if I'm happy with that position, I can hit the check mark and do the same thing for feature area three. Looks okay. Hit the check mark and you're done. There's the beginning of your layout.